We were delighted that there's now been 16,000 people across Scotland that have given us their views, have taken time out of their busy lives to give us their perspective on policing. And that's really, really helpful because it adds to our picture of what people feel about policing and about the local priorities that they see for their communities across the length and breadth of Scotland. So this latest uh, results uh, basically have told us that the priorities that we've been working towards both locally and nationally are bang on the money with regard to uh, what local communities want. So that's really encouraging for us as well. What we've been particularly pleased with this time round is that we've had over 2,000 young folk give us their views uh, using this mechanism. It's a 24-7 uh, internet-based uh, survey, so we're really keen that people use that to give us their perspectives on it. We've been working really hard to engage uh, better with young people, and the views and perspectives are, are, are really important to enable us to plan services properly and address the concerns that young folk have as well as other parts of the community. I'd like to hear from any member uh, of the public uh, in Scotland, whether they're living here, working here or just travelling here, it's always good to get feedback. Uh, and the vast majority of people seem to be very comfortable with the way that uh, policing is delivering its service, but there's always things that we can learn to improve the service as we go forward. What we've had over the last quarter, it, it, we feed that into the big, bigger picture around what communities have been telling us at community councils and other meetings and even in engagements between officers on the street and members of the public. So it all helps us to get that picture of policing in Scotland in 2016.